Hello, good morning, Dubra Utra. Selamat pagi. Now is breakfast time. Alhamdulillah, dah makan. So sekarang just curi curi time edit uh, edit video sebab. Asyik tak sempat je nak edit Balik bilik terus uh, mandi sembayang rehat uh, Today is our second day in Bukhara Hari ni plan pergi ke satu tempat yang bersejarah Nama dia The Ark Uzbek Army Beautiful morning Very nice experience <laughs> A very nice atmosphere here. Fresh air. In front of us is the Ark. Check it out. People here start to make preparation for New Year. Over there, got a like a Christmas lamb, Christmas tree. yang tinggal dekat dalam ark ni sebelum ni ada tiga masjid satu masjid untuk perempuan dua masjid untuk lelaki pas uh, tentera soviet datang revolution orang bom tempat ni so mostly dalam ark ni 80% bangunan hancur yang tinggal hanya 20% tempat-tempat sejarah simpan emas, barang-barang berharga, jewelry, berlian. Kat dalam ark ni ada tujuh bank. Masa revolution, diorang datang, diorang ambil semua barang-barang berharga tu. Mesti korang tak percaya. Pot-pot ni, mangkuk-mangkuk ni adalah original daripada tiga abad sebelum era kita. So, bermaksud 2300 tahun. So, Ini adalah sirat An-Nabi uh, Biografi of Prophet Muhammad Bukhara Pada abad ke-16 Kita baru lepas keluar daripada muzium sejarah tentang uh, Bukhara Fuh, pening Beribu-ribu tahun punya sejarah This place, nobody can go here But we can go the view all town Bukhara
from Switzerland alone. Now I avoid to sleep in the tent. Hot in God, hence the work. Summer Castle uh, Castle ni Bila musim sejuk Dia akan uh, panas Dan bila musim panas dia akan sejuk So sekarang dia orang jadikan museum This place is Itorai Mokhi Khosa It is taken from Farsi And it means in English The most beautiful place between stars and moon Itorai means star and Mokh means moon It's some uh, residence of our last emir Only in some they live it here in Main Residence was in Ark. Ark is a fortress that is located in the center of the city. Ark is the main palace. It is like villa. Is villa. This palace was built 100 years ago, from 1911 up to 1918, during seven years. And about 400 architects participated in the construction of the Sami Palace. The name of this hall is. Greeting hall because every morning Emir stood in the middle of this hall and many people gathered here and they said good morning to Emir. As he received greeting from this hall, the name of the hall is greeting hall. Here you can see European style because our last Emir studied in Russia. He liked mm -hmm. European style and from Russia he invited architects Margulis and Sakovic. They came here and participated in the construction our seven local architects were also sent to Russia in order to learn this kind of European style. Let's take this European style here. The name of this hall is Greeting Hall. Uh, it's like uh, uh, it's a uh, white hall because the only color is that you can say inside is white color. It's a name white hall. This hall served as the reception room of Emir. There is his bedroom over there. He entered from his bedroom. And when the guests came, guests entered from here, mm -hmm. through this door. 25 architects spent about two years in order to build this hall. Main architect was Ustashir Muradov, you can see his portrait and his tools. He was the alabaster carver. Inside, the white one is alabaster. Four thousand pieces of glass mirror were brought from Venice and they were pasted on the wall and on the glass on the mirror they made alabaster carving and if you pay attention in every shelf the ornaments are different there is a different ornaments in every part of this hall this chandelier was brought from poland it weighs 500 kilogram lamps were brought from austria there was not electricity in bukhara but there was electrical generator in this palace the generator was brought from germany in 1913 and with the help of the generator outside fountain worked and inside the lamps were lit. Furniture was brought from France. In the shelf you can see uh, Chinese porcelain vases. This carpet is also old. It is a carpet of Turkmenistan. The weight of the carpet was 300 kilograms. It's one huge carpet. The size is 7 by 14 meters. Uh, inside only this kind of white curtains and lamps are new and others are original and the hall itself without any renovations. This is our last Emir on the right. He was born in 1881. He ruled the country for 10 years, from 1910 up to 1920, when the Russian army occupied Bukhara. 
then he went to Afghanistan and he died in Afghanistan in 1944. His grave is also in Afghanistan nowadays. On the left, you can see his father's portrait. He was also Emir. He had ruled the country for 25 years. When he died, then his son started ruling the country. Iskandar vase was equal to the price of 200 sheep. One vase, 200 sheep, etc. Nowadays they are priceless because they are antique. This is guest house. When the guests came from other countries, from Europe, from Russia, they might stay in this building. Nowadays inside there is the Museum of National Uzbek Dresses. This building is not original, it was renovated because when Bukhara was under the government of Russian power, this building was used like a sanatorium. They said it was renovated and during the renovation must have spent 4 kilograms of gold for decorating this room. Yes, they spent. These three robes are robes of Avalast Emir. It weighs 10 kilograms. It also weighs 10 kilograms because there is gold inside. From 5 up to 25% of thread contains gold, you know that the gold is heaviest metal, that's how rope became heavier. First, Emir put on six thin rope and after that he put on this one. This is the oldest rope, it is the rope of Emir Muzaffar Khan, he was the grandfather of Avalast Emir, it was 7148 years ago, it's also 58, 158 years ago, it's also golden embroidered. Where you can see yellow color. It's gold. From this minaret, they read Azan. There was a mosque here at the back side of this minaret, but the mosque didn't remain to our days. If there is a mosque, there should be this kind of big minaret, but only minaret remained to our days. So this is Suzani, like a wall hanging. Uh, here, every ornament has its own meaning. For example, pomegranate means having many children. Almond means uh, being rich, wealthy. In case you hear Pepe, people believe that the Pepe can keep the people from all kinds of troubles, from evil eye. The flower is mean, the life is so beautiful. Here you can see also a picture of birds. It's peacock, it's also peacock, it's fish, it's also fish. But they don't look like two real animals because according to Islam, it's not allowed to draw the picture of creatures. That's why they are symbolically used here. It's handmade. It was sewn 100 years ago, and one woman spent about six months in order to make one this kind of Cezannes. Jalan, kaki pun. Kaki balik. Uh -huh. So now dinner time, dinner and lunch together. <laughs> Maybe lunch, I don't know. <laughs> now it's for 4 p.m. Kita orang dah habis pusing. Uh, semua tempat kat Bukhara but ada tempat lagi yang belum. Tapi maybe next time lah kot Sebab tempat tu agak jauh daripada Bukhara dalam 60 km So enjoy the bread With hot tea Oh nice Itu saja untuk hari ni Jumpa besok Bye Shashlik, yeah. Sunrise. Shashlik. Eh. Sunset. Shashlik.
Chao.